I don't want to walk over there. Because look at look what happened to him. Is it him? Okay. I'm doing it. Should I burn him? I'm going to examine him. I don't think I need to burn him. He looks like he's pretty much taken care of. There's the relief plate he was talking about. The strange plate has faces carved into either side of it. One side has blood streaked across it. Okay. Flip panel. Okay, well this, obviously he put this side on because that's where the blood is. And things didn't go well for him, so I'm going to put it down with the blood side down and hope that that means this is the correct way to do it. I'm not dead yet. Yes, where, you know, movies are like that. Here's some of my favorite horror movies and books were really creepy, and then at the end it was like, and it was all this, and they get it. It's almost like scientific. It's like the end of a Scooby Doo episode where they're like, oh, it was Old Man Withers all along. Of course, that was the point of Scooby Doo, that it wasn't real. But when it is real, and they come up with sort of like weird, like almost gamey, like the movie The Ring. When that came out, that freaked the hell out of me, and I thought it was great. But at the end, when it's like, they're all trying to figure it out, it got too story-driven. Like, oh, it was the, that she was, she needs to be set free and released from her torment, and blah, blah, blah. And then it will, everything will be okay. We'll, we'll undo the wrong. I don't like this wave of stuff coming over me. Things like this have pre precipitated horrible events in the past in this game. Looks like I might have some extra viewers in here. Shit! Extra viewers. If anyone else in here, welcome. You may ask me what's going on. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. It's terrible. I'm, it's just, this place... The game is good. But... I'm as confused as anyone. You you just walked into my nightmare. Oh, a map fragment. It's my map of Morrowind. I'm working on it. I'm going to get back to base. Oh, wait, is this my spooky ghost hospital? Sometimes I get sucked into my... where my brain surgery hospital is. Okay. You know, if they'd light it better, it'd be nice. It's a nice... I like the, uh... The architecture is very nice. Could be a very pleasant place. Just clean it up a little. Yeah, I don't know what that thing is. It's like some sort of a that creepy Casper kid shoots those things out of his head, and they obviously do something. And I don't know if that's what's making everyone crazy, or if he's counteracting whatever's making everyone crazy. He could be the key to solving this thing, or the key to... that's messed it all up in the first place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't like the wheelchairs? Yeah, I think hospitals are like... a lot of people are freaked out of hospitals. I don't like them myself. And some of... like, there's a lot of horror... Like the most haunted places in America, the places are supposed to be haunted, they're always like the old hospitals. Okay. Doc. Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. He will... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's... Like linking brains together. 
sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Well, I didn't say yeah. it was perfect. <laughs> Especially not with such a... Unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. N not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. Okay, things continue to become weirder and weirder. But it is, he did make it sound like we are kind of in, we are Doctor. in a dream nightmare type thing. If I understood him correctly. Which is funny because we were just talking about like what this may or may not be. Alright, this looks significant. It's one of my journals. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, June 16, 2009. See, we dropped off Lily for her first day at preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. She seems like she'll be fine. Mira, God bless her, has had a tough three years. Raising a baby is a full-time job, and she's finally going to get the break she deserves. By break, I mean coming back to KCPD, Missing Persons Bureau. The amount of, uh, the amount of disappearances here seems to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be missing. What? This is this before everything got weird. I exaggerate, of course. Oh, he's exaggerating. Ha, huh, good one. Castellanos. Exaggerate, of course. But there's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped. And Mira, maybe it's Myra. I don't know. I've been calling her Mira the whole game. Mira will help see to that. She's damn good at her job and obviously happy to be back in her element. Well, that's great for her. So wait, whenever I get one of these things, one of my spooky mirrors opens up. Usually. I don't hear my, my spooky ghost hospital mirror music. Okay. Can I have a little look around this room? <clears throat> Does not seem to be anything for me to look at in this room. Is that... And that doesn't look... Okay, that does look like a, um, the hallway from the hospital. But, you know what? I think I need to take a little break. I've been recording for an hour and 15 minutes. I could use a little stretch. I don't know if... Um, I don't know if it's getting too late for you to stick around after a break, but I'm probably going to take about a 10 minute... I got 10.48 on my clock here, so it'd be back by about 10.58. Let me get my, uh... You think it's Myra? Like, okay. It makes, that probably makes sense. Because I'm saying it, I'm like, well, Mira is like... That means look in Spanish, doesn't it? Is that even a name that people use? Okay. Let us get back into it then. Looks like I still got some people watching. That's good. Thank you, Evie. Good to see you're still here. Last time I went on a break, I never saw anyone again. I knew you guys, you and Chris were leaving at that point, so that wasn't a surprise, but nobody nobody came after that at all. I played for another hour. Uh, get my game back up. Here we go. Okay, let's, let's, get, let's get into it here. Wait, what was this? I didn't notice that before. That is used to distract. Am I gonna have something that I'll need to distract? Okay. Yep, this is definitely looking like 
my spooky ghost hospital. What? 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 Oh, keep going. Keep going, bro. This I wasn't fooled this time. This is no cutscene. Now it is. That nurse is going to be in there and she's going to be like, what's wrong? And then she won't tell me anything. Shit. He is. He's the hooded guy. They're going to do chapter break right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I might have mentioned this before. But the spooky hospital, like where I do my brain surgery, is usually a safe place. But it seems like anytime I'm drawn there without going through a mirror, like if I don't bring myself there, something terrible is happening. All right, well, I'm going to face the music then. Son of a bitch. Okay, hitting it. Now where the hell am I? Okay, this is dreaming. Your kid's laughing. Big scarecrow. Men with torches. What? Did he just set me on? He just set. Detective Castellanos. Was that someone else's memories? I just was that the nurse that was just saying my name, Detective Castellanos. Wait a minute, is my mouse dead? I want to turn my. Okay. I don't. I think my mouse is fine. It's just not letting me turn. It's weird. You are moaning in your sleep. Have a bad dream. Like you're gonna tell me anything? <sighs> I resent her. Of course, for all I know, she's like my self, con my subconscious. She's like my id. So she can't tell me anything I don't already know. There's a theory for you. No. No. Oh, no. Not that way. No. 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 Not that way. That no. happened before. No. He's down there. No. Not that Screw way. that. First, no. I'm gonna check out my my other stuff. I'm gonna pretend it's just a normal day in the spook hospital. What am I looking at? Memories are what? great things indeed. It can be easy at times for memories to be distorted by others. That is why they must be cherished. It's a hole in a guy's face and there's roaches flying out of it. Thanks for that. I feel like I shouldn't be so close to it when I look. Here we go. There, that's a much better view. Oh yeah, zoom in. Zoom all the way in. Oh, you son of a bitch. This is terrible. Is it me or is the hospital different now? It's got a much more rustic look to it. It's wood panels. This game is freaking me out. And the paintings. What's that? Sunflowers, and we were just in this field of sunflowers, and like, I think we were a little girl getting burnt by some messed up farmers. Here's a here's a giant eye looking over a curtain at a, a school or something. And there's my friend, box safe head, next to him. some flowers and a pear. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Simple and elegant. 
I just have to look around and see all the crap that's in here. I don't even know what that is. What about up there? Somebody went through a lot of time to put these paintings together. Anything to read here? Any news? Can I play some music? I just really need this a few moments of it being calm, even if it's creepy. Or something's not trying to kill me for just a few moments. Okay, there's that. Yep, that's messed up, that one. Okay. Anything on the notice board? You got a yoga lessons or something? Tear off the phone number. Okay. You look as if you'd seen a ghost. Shut up. Not have anything helpful to say. Crap. What the hell happened to this place? Well, as long as my trusty old brain surgery chair still old reliable. I can always count on you, brain surgery chair. Okay, I get 9,800 points. What can I do? Five thousand for an extra syringe, or to be able to carry an extra syringe? I think so. I think so. I think that's a good investment. And we're gonna leave the rest of the points. We'll roll them over. Of course, at the moment, I have zero syringes. But I'm being an optimist that I'll find so many syringes that I'll need that extra space. The mirrors aren't all lit up. Which means something terrible has to happen. Normally, if I want to leave, I go through the mirrors. Okay, now that door I can't go through. Can I save if I want to? Okay. Ooh, ooh newspaper. State fire. Claims children. Daughter badly wounded. Where were the parents? Is that the girl who was set on fire on purpose, though? Children playing in barn on Victoriano Estate. Burned in fire. Daughter 17. Left in vegetative state. Source of fire undetermined. That's great. I bet it was that the farmer. I saw him do it. You know what? I'm going to save. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna put off going down that hallway. I heard that spooky Casper was down there doing his moaning. I come in here. Is this room different too? This room looks very similar. It's not wooden. This room appears to be his normal self. It's cheerily, lightly lit. I don't have any keys. Okay, I was just can never remember if I've picked up keys between my visits here. Check on my old map. Morrowind. Yep, it's coming along nicely. I think that... What did I add? That corner down there? I, don't, I found a piece a little while ago. Alright, it's enough monkeying around. I'm gonna head back. I know, I'm putting it off. <sighs> putting it off. Damn creepy picture. I'm gonna face the music. Go visit Casper. This room, this looks different. Yep. That is mess. It's messed up. It's a bird. Hey, bird. And the only no. mode of. No. Yep. I can't stop. I'm not controlling my character. Shit. Okay. Hey, well this is nice, it's rustic. <laughs> I feel like I'm back at camp. Hated camp. 
Uh, the map, I don't know if it, it... I mean, I've seen places on there that I've been, but it's like, you find the pieces, and they're like collectibles. So, I'm not sure if they're supposed to specifically represent, like, the place where you pick the piece up. And I probably missed a bunch of them. Like, I fully expect when I finish the game, two-thirds of that map's still gonna be blank. Because when the crap hits the fan, I could care less about poking around in corners for map pieces. Maybe I, that's a bad way to look at it. Because I'm probably missing a lot of other stuff that's important. Shotgun shells. Shotgun bullets. Help brand. Range use. Yep, finally. Get to take some time away from the big city. And a forest that is not... Not spooky at all. Nope. It's nice. The moonlight. Whatever the light is. Not scared. Not scared. Not scared. <sighs> hey, open up. Okay, nothing there. What's that? Something in the bushes. What? It's a bird. Just birds. Son of a bitch. It's birds. Okay. That's good. Just taking my time. It's nice, uh... Wayne. I've seen that house somewhere. Price. Big ol'... It looks a little bit like a giant version of the haunted house at Disney. 